Hey guys, this is Athena. I'm going to try to put together a very quick video, a little how to uh, protect your child if they are feeling unsafe in their room at night when they're sleeping, especially if it's just their imagination or weird energies. Not if you live in a dangerous place. I, I'm not talking about it from that perspective. I live in suburbia and I'm thankful that it's a pretty safe area. I've always had this little conundrum uh, of dealing with a child who is, as I've always called him, very spooky or easily spooked. We had to stop reading the Harry Potter books. Um, towards the end of the second book, he had just had enough and it was getting to him. And I respect that. He's seven. He's not really the age that those books are meant for. I did try to always gloss over the scarier parts or leave out some of the gruesome details because his imagination is quite vivid, like his mama's. Even so, he was ready for me to stop and I stopped. My point is, I've wondered how to deal with a kid who's a little bit scared, especially when he has a mom who is not going to say, there's no such thing as ghosts. Mama believes in ghosts. So if he says he sees something in his room, I have to tread carefully because I don't want to say, cool, what it looked like. <laughs> That's not going to help if he's feeling scared. I want to validate him, validate what he is seeing, and equip him with some powers or tricks or strategies for dealing with fearful things. A couple days ago, I'll have to see if I can find the picture. Uh, he got scared and he drew a picture of what it was what the experience was like and in the picture I'll find if I find it I'll show you and I'll attach it but in the picture he drew himself in his bed he has a window over his bed and he can see the moon on his window he even drew the correct phase my good boy and then he said there was he saw this creepy looking thing crawling across the floor and he wasn't talking about a bug it was this cat-like creature it was uh Coincidentally, very similar to something he saw in a new series on Netflix, um, brought it produced by DreamWorks, the How to Train Your Dragon people, and uh, it was this cat creature. <laughs> I can't remember the name of let's mute that of the series off the top of my head, but it was a good show. He loved it. He binge watched it in like a few days, but there was this creepy ass cat creature. And so the thing crawling across his floor looked just like that. So might've been a dream, might've been his imagination, whatever it was I need, I knew I needed to do something to help him feel safe. In the past, like he has a dream catcher, he has a rose quartz he sleeps with, he has um, this little toy he's had since he was a baby that the back can open so you can change batteries out. He doesn't use the little light up thing anymore, part of it, but it's nice that it can open because I put a heart that was um, tiger's iron and he has various other things in his room that I told him this will make you feel safe this will protect you even so I decided it was time to get to get down and dirty with this thing so we we chose five different black crystals I had uh, I know black tourmaline is the best or tourmaline however you say it uh, I just chose five black stones that we have and they all had sort of a point on them. It wasn't a definite point, but it was just how it was naturally shaped. They're all smooth crystals. I've been tumbled and we held them and we said, you are going to act as a fence or like a force field and only good and positive energy can come in. And we put one in each corner of his room and then one in the closet. He has a huge closet. And then I took some selenite. He has two windows in his room and I put selenite in the windows and I, on the little ledges. And I said, with the selenite, we said together, you know, you will bring the power of the angels and um, protectors and all who will, you know, look out and guard my guy, Poochie, in his room at night. We put those in the windows. Then I walked around the room. I didn't want to sage the room because he was about to go to bed and I wasn't going to open the window and I don't really want him to be breathing the sage. Um, Nadia sent me one of her sprays and this is space clearing. I like this because it has a little bit of a, a, a powder smell to it. So it's kind of light 
and I went around and I spritzed in the corners and in the threshold of the door and then he wanted more he wanted me to also spray the corners of his bed on the floor which I did I was careful not to get it on the wood of his bed because it does look like it has an oil in it and I don't really want to get like oily stains but so then we stood in the middle of the room and I got my magic wand out this thing and I pointed and I said, okay, now we're going to activate it. And I drew a little line and I said, and kind of we did some spinning and just, we, I make it playful. So if he goes to school and shares it, it's not like your mama needs to be burned or something. I don't know. You got some crap going on at your house because no, he doesn't. He is lucky. And so we made it a game, but we just said, okay, only good and happy, awesome things are allowed in this room. And anything that's negative that wants to come in can't come in. It's a force field. And uh, then he, he hasn't had any problems since. It's been a few nights. And so, yay. Just a little thing you could try if you have a little one in your house. Or even a big one who's a little nervous. Um, or yourself. Gritting your home. Gritting your room. Setting the intentions. Normally I would use sage up first and clear some things out and then maybe use sweet grass or something to bring in some positive energies because like they say, sage is like Clorox or bleach and uh, it'll take away everything. But you also, I like to bring in, replace that emptiness with positivity and then set some intentions. My goal is to make him feel empowered. I want him to know he can tell things to go away and through those mudra cards that I shared with you a couple videos ago, one of the basic mudras, it's funny, it's like, you know, people put their hand up, put your right hand up kind of in front of your shoulder, and it's it blocks. It's like a shield. And if something scary is coming at you, you can put that up and say, no, go away. And so I just teach them, remember, you've got, you've got that, that's with you all the time. Um... Lastly, something I'm considering, Archangel Michael. From what I have heard, he's an awesome go-to badass, and I mean that with the most holy respect, that it doesn't matter what your religion, if you need some backup and you need some power, you can call on him and he will be by your side. I have heard from people who are not Christian, who are pagan, who are witches, who have done this, who have been outside and been threatened by someone and they have called on Michael and he has taken care of business. So I told him about Archangel Michael and told him about the app and I'm thinking about either buying a little, little figurine or even a necklace, you know, uh, that he can wear when he feels like he needs it. Kind of like a shield of protection. So I don't know. I'd love to hear from you what you have done. What are some of your strategies if you've ever had someone who feels afraid or if you have felt afraid? What have you done to kind of protect your home, put up a little force field, keep negativity out? I hope you enjoyed this and I will be making some more videos quite soon. I love you. Have a great day and peace. Um, guys, I saw a weird thing in my room. Okay, I didn't really see it, but I barely got a glimpse of it. And then it straight off to the front of my bed. And then I looked, it was gone. And it looked kind of like this. That's not the best picture of it. It looks like this weird cat person and like show and called look like a weird person called a changeling that's purple I don't, I don't know its name but so called troll hunters kind of look like that my mom said it could be funny and pretend that's a hot dog <laughs> <laughs> and there's me in my bed and there's the window and there's the weird thingy so, so if you ever might see something in your room or hear something weird, or, like the other night I heard something weird in front of my bed come from the chair, the 
you know. Um, if you ever see anything, you might want to leave a comment down below and send it to, yeah, see the best luck. Send it to her, and then she'll tell me. And by the way, she, she's behind you. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for sharing. Bye. Welcome.